Hi, I'm Matthew DeSero, and what I do is magic. But we're here with Hydrogenics, and what they do is for the real world. And it's mind blowing. We're here at Hydrogenics, one of the most technologically advanced companies. And the car I'm sitting in, this hydrogen powered car, belongs to Joe Carnelli. He's the chief technology officer, and he's gonna share some of the magic going on here at Hydrogenics. So Joe, can you tell me what's going on at Hydrogenics? This stuff looks pretty exciting. Yeah, we do a lot of cool stuff. We do hydrogen fuel cells, and we generate hydrogen using a process called electrolysis. So what you're looking at essentially is an electrochemical engine. The fuel cell takes hydrogen, generates electricity, and the byproduct is water. I understand at Hydrogenics, you guys have made the world's most compact electrolyzer. Early this year, we unveiled a three megawatt electrolyzer single stack, which is the world's smallest and most power dense electrolyzer stack that can produce 1.3 metric tons of hydrogen per day. And so when we scale these stacks together, uh, we're able to go from either a three megawatt power to gas system, or we can scale up to 30 megawatts or 100 megawatt power to gas systems. So where's this stuff being used? Power to gas is being deployed by numerous countries around the world. Uh, due to the instability of wind uh, blowing on and off and solar energy coming on and off the grid, this creates a grid stabilization issue. As well, it also creates the need for large-scale energy storage. And that's where power to gas has a tremendous advantage in its ability to store large amounts of utility-scale energy. When wind blows, for example, in the evening, when we least need the electricity, uh, the grid operator ends up with an excess amount of electricity on the grid, and this becomes a problem for the grid operator. So power to gas is a tool for the grid operator to help control the grid so that when there is excess electricity on the grid, the grid operator is able to turn on our power to gas plant and absorb all of that excess electricity and convert it into hydrogen that then can be used to power our cars, our buses, our trains, or it can be injected into the natural gas network to be used at a later time frame. That's amazing. You know what? I think this demands a road trip. We're in California today talking with a key hydrogenics customer of this technology, Stratos Fuel. A little bit of magic. Uh, it'll actually make my jack reverse itself. No way. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> We're Stratus Fuel. Um, we were founded in 2013 um, with the focus to exclusively um, produce renewable hydrogen. So we consider ourselves a renewable hydrogen infrastructure provider. So that pertains to the, the, you know, the production all the way down to the retail side of the gas. So what we're doing right now is we have built our first phase, which is um, the station build out. So right now we have one station. We're in development of three other stations. And so we should have a total of four by the end of 2018. So how the heck do you fuel these things, anyway? Uh, the difference is that this is 870 and this is 835. And a uh, big truck would pri primarily use 835. Right. Um, and it takes about 15 minutes to fill. 870 fills your car about three to five minutes. So now our second step, we are now taking wind and solar power, so renewable electricity, and we are channeling that into these proton exchange membrane electrolyzers, so PEM electrolyzers, and we are going to produce hydrogen using renewable electrons and water and we're going to distribute that to our station network as we build out. Basically, our model is to have production retail outlets, and we want to basically replicate that and take it throughout the state of California and throughout the country. What's uh, Hydrogenics been like as a partner on this? Uh, they've been great. Um, became acquainted with uh, Hydrogenics in 2013, and from there, we uh, expressed our vision, uh, what we wanted to do for the industry. We wanted to have producing, produce the fuel, and we wanted to retail it. And um, Hydrogenics has uh, enabled us by providing us with the equipment, supplying us with uh, the expertise, the engineering expertise, in order to do so. Red cards in your hand, black cards here. If I snap, the uh, red cards will jump and change places. Your uh, that's amazing. So what's uh, going on with the fuel cell industry here in the U.S.? There's a lot of work going on uh, from uh, government agencies uh, providing initiatives to move the technology forward. So especially here in California, right now we're working with, uh, with Daimler and also a new flyer to put the, the Celerity fuel cell power system into their, into their chassis. That's a truck and a bus. 
both projects will be demonstrated in LA like in 2018, 2019. So I got to hang out at a hydrogen fueling station. And the stations that you've visited, these are already open uh, stations, they're, they're fueling uh, vehicles, and uh, it's part of the, the plan to build out hydrogen infrastructure here in, uh, in California. It's not having to be transported over a great distance to the point of use, and uh, this is an asset that the owner uh, of a fleet uh, can actually control and manage and, and fuel their vehicles with clean uh, hydrogen technology coming from uh, our electrolysis portfolio. So can you tell me a little bit about the strength of hydrogenics in this market? So hydrogenics is, is, is well suited for the, uh, the heavy duty truck industry. Uh, our experience in system integration, our robust technology is the, uh, is the key to providing technology that, that works here. Um, also, by having a dedicated facility here in California, it's also showing our commitment to the state of California uh, about our, our seriousness for the market and the other states as well to be a service and support center uh, for our technologies going forward. And this is really about, from our facility here, we will be taking in lessons learned from our projects and deployments that we're working here in California and the U.S. and feeding that back into our product development portfolio and really bringing innovation and breakthroughs into the hydrogen industry. Hey, we're here today talking with Wolfram Schwab, VP of Technology and Innovation at Alstom Transport. I understand your trains have zero emissions. Could you talk a little bit about that and tell me some more? Having hydrogen plus oxygen resulting in electricity plus water. And uh, the water is uh, coming out of the system either by steam, so a little bit uh, to the air, and, but as well drops uh, falling down to the track, which is uh, completely clean. So we have really made the first serial region train in this application. Really, really silent car inside. So if we have customers in our trains, they're impressed by the silence of the train. So uh, our range is between 600 to 800, could be even 1,000 kilometers with wow. one fueling. I think we are now in the move. Um, we have just recently signed the first contract in Germany, about 14 trains. And I think we are now at the starting point of a new era, which is hydrogen. I'm convinced that this is the technology of the future. So can you describe to me your partnership with Hydrogenics and uh, tell me why it is you chose them? Um, what we are looking for is a partner who is adapting to our products, to our needs. So therefore we found a partner who was able to do these projects adapting to our needs. Within Alstom there's always a free competition and this time in 2016 the Coralio Island team got the special prize for this uh, uh, new technology on the Coralio Island trains. So without Hydrogenics no prize. No prize. <laughs> hey, we're here with uh, Daryl Wilson, CEO of Hydrogenics. When we're delivering applications for public transportation on buses and trains, we know that the most important thing to our customers is reliability and safety. And here on this product, we've worked very closely with a number of partners to figure out the way that we can do it in the simplest and best way possible to give the best result for the customer. All over the world, we're going through this last important step in the journey to decarbonization. We've gone from wood to coal to oil to natural gas, and hydrogen's the last stop uh, where there's no more carbon left. Uh, and we're able to transform mobility applications, uh, energy storage applications to use hydrogen, which is carbon free, as a means of managing the energy. Interestingly, one of the places where the hydrogen applications are likely to grow the fastest is in China. There's very serious concern about the quality of the air in the cities, mostly driven by uh, diesel transportation on the streets in the major cities in China. And our application allows the Chinese government to remove diesel entirely from the streets of the, the major cities. This will actually reduce the emission level for transportation dramatically, basically to zero, which is a, a great uh, achievement. So here in the Toronto area, we're building the, the first full public station where somebody can drive their car up, use their credit card, and fuel up their vehicle. So that's a very exciting breakthrough here. Other places like Korea, Japan, California, Germany have a target to have 100 stations. And so we're looking forward to the day when we get 100 stations in Canada also. This is one company that does it all. Fuel cells for transportation, critical power, electrolyzers for hydrogen generation, and storage. Hydrogenics, the name companies around the globe rely on for some of the most innovative solutions. So that's it, Hydrogenics, hydrogen technology for the real world we live in.